with two people inside causing even more concern about gun violence in the capital city. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Donna Terrell. Officers say the bus was shot at near Asher and Brown Street shortly before noon. Neither the driver or student on board were hit. Our Andrew Epperson live in studio with us tonight. Andrew, parents are understandably worried for their kids' safety, even on a school bus. Uh, on a school bus near the zoo, these past couple weeks show us that shootings can happen just about anywhere. And in the cases I just referenced, included kids. Police say they weren't targets, though. Now, parents are asking leaders to step up with action instead of words. I refuse to act like a school bus getting shot up is normal. Jeff Hood's a father of five. His kids are in the Little Rock School District. Hold on. Say, you want to say hello? Wednesday, more gun violence cropped up in Little Rock. This time, a school bus was hit by bullets in the area of Asher and Brown. Police say the bus was taking a student home from a summer program, and the student and driver weren't hurt. At this time, we do not believe the bus was the target. Our detectives are still investigating. At this time, we don't have no one in custody. This comes less than two weeks after seven-year-old Chloe Alexander was murdered while visiting the zoo. Police say the 18-year-old charged in the shooting wasn't targeting her. Us at LRPD, we do not like this incident. We want to make sure that all children are safe. Hood says it's time for decision makers to recognize what they're doing isn't working. Why are so many community leaders sitting at home, even right now, watching this and not doing something? And to other Little Rock parents, Hood says don't lull yourself into normalizing this. Sending your kids to school should not be a journey that could take their lives. I spoke with several other parents Wednesday. Some say they're trying to shield their kids from learning about these shootings, to keep them from being scared, of course. Others say they've tried to teach their children what to do if a shooting happens nearby. Live in studio, Andrew Epperson, Fox 16 News. All right.